Hey everybody, what's happening? Welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. We're here in holiday season, kind of, sort of, in the middle of Hollywood, November. And I'm like, this yeah, is not Hollywood. Hollywood. It's close. So uh, <laughs> we, today we've got an awesome episode for you. My name is Will. We have, as always, Mr. Nine. Yo. And today we have with us Dr. Joey G from Shandoah University. Yep. It's Joey, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right, so we've got some really cool things going on with you today. <clears throat> We're talking about Fallout 4, some Overwatch news, um, the Wii U bundles, hot Black Friday, all that kind of stuff. So we'll just get into all that. But we'll start off with uh, just news. We'll talk about Fallout 4. Fallout 4 is out. Yes. And it's, it's huge. It's a massive game. Huge-ish. Um, so apparently there were some frame rate issues with the PS4. Yeah, um, apparently when you scope in with like a, a rifle scope, the frame rate like just dies, like to the point where you can't keep up with the enemies to actually hit them and kill them before they kill you. So it's, this is coming out from videos that were out before the day one patch was available, so it's possible right. that the day one patch fixed this. We don't know because we're, we sure. don't have it yet. So. Yeah, so, so the, with a firmware update, they could probably fix it. Oh, easily. Yeah. yeah. Easily. You, you just got to hope that they fix it in time before people get too mad about this, because obviously it's a big problem. Yeah. You know, you want to kill people before they kill you. That's well, if there's one thing <laughs> Bethesda's good at, it's always releasing bugs in their game. Yeah. It's, it's but they also trademark. fix a lot of them. They They're fix pretty a lot good of them, about it. But I'm waiting for a comical bug to be discovered, like the chicken glitch in Skyrim. Sure. <laughs> Funniest thing in the world. I mean, uh, you know, in, in Fallout 4, obviously, I uh, mentioned we're in the middle of holiday season, but yeah, I mean, this is one of those games that um, a lot of people, knew, fans of the series, knew they were going to buy. Mm -hmm. But in my opinion, I think a lot more people are buying this game because they see on their friends list or whatever that everybody else is playing it. So even if they've never played it before, they're going to go out and buy it. So oh, yeah. the, the sales numbers this holiday season for Fallout is going to be crazy. Sure, it's a blockbuster game. I mean, yeah. it's continuing this in a very popular series already. So, I mean, what's not to like about it? I mean, it's everybody's going to be buying this game with their friends, very social. But I see nothing but success with this. Yeah, yeah, uh, you know, but the issue is that, is that, <laughs> that frame rate thing, they want to quickly fix and address those right. things. It's only when you're scoped in. Like, yeah. if you're playing the regular game, you, you never have a frame rate drop from what I've read. So I'm sure a lot of you have already are enjoying Fallout 4 right now and some of you can't wait to get it, but you know, amazing, amazing game. And at E3 this year it did win our game of the show. And as you yes. can see, rightfully so, just uh, awesome, yeah. awesome game. Um, Overwatch. This is a game that you played at PAX? Was it PAX? I think it was PAX, yeah. yeah. It wasn't E3. It right. was PAX. Um, it was uh it, it was it's basically Somebody summed it up like a, a Battlefield meets Team Fortress kind of a thing. Uh, I think it was like Quake beats Team Qu Fortress. Yeah, Quake kind of, kind of yeah. a mix. Um, what did you think of that, by the way? I thought it was great. I've, I've been waiting for it to be announced for consoles. I, I, which they said it wasn't so, going to happen. Yes, right. at BlizzCon last Friday or the Friday before last, they announced that it's coming to PS4 and Xbox One. So it is coming to consoles. <laughs> in 2016. So 2016. I'm excited. Um, I'm a little upset, though, because it's going to be a retail sale it's not gonna be a free-to-play like it is on PC so that's kind of weird to me I don't know I, I, I can see I guess they want to make maybe that's there is cost involved in bringing it to consoles maybe. they probably designed it only for PC at first I mean all the other sure. free-to-play games on PC are free-to-play on PS4 and Xbox one so. yeah well, well maybe there's some complications <laughs> out this one yeah they're, they're working on it still <laughs> yeah I gotta figure out how to get no it there's no guarantee that it's gonna cost yeah, sixty dollars. But so. Overwatch, mm -hmm. um, Joe, I don't know if you've seen any of the trailers for it, but it's it's a great looking game. Definitely a multiplayer type of experience. Got some story in there. Great characters, great power ups. Uh, some some really cool it's stuff. A lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Super excited. Yeah. Finally bringing it to PS4 and Xbox One. I am now on board with this game. So. <laughs> <laughs> they get the everyday gamer now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, mentioned Black Friday again. So this Black Friday, there's a ton of consoles coming out, mm -hmm. by the way. Bundles. Um, bundles. Uh, yeah, bundles, rather. Sorry. Apparently, we talked about this uh, with Gage and, and like us on a couple of three weeks ago. Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely, it seems like they're just taking a game, throwing a <laughs> patch on the box, and saying it, buy this. And, uh, you know. Microsoft's always been one to do that. They've always bundled Forza and Halo and all their like trademark, like flagmark titles mm -hmm. with their consoles for the holidays. Now they're doing it with every game. Like Tomb Raider's getting one, Gears of War's getting one, Halo's getting one, Forza, uh, Battlefront. 
Sure. Destiny. I mean, yeah. everybody's getting a game. By the way, you're watching, listening to Press Start TV. Once again, I'm Will. This is Nine. Yep. This is Joey. So, so yeah, I mean, if you look at Microsoft stuff, they got Fallout 4, like you said, Forza, Gears of War, they got Halo, I mean, they got all FIFA. of these, bu FIFA, they got Madden. They got bundles out the nose. There's, just, yeah. there's a holiday bundle, so, I mean, right there, there's probably like 10 consoles. Yeah, it's just it's just bundle overload, you know, at this point, and at one point, maybe it's kind of unique, it's cool to buy these, these one-ofs, but at some point, it's just, you're beating a dead horse with this. And then so, the Sony's games. got the Vader console, which is cool. Oh, yeah. Looks the so Destiny good. console, which is also cool. The Call of Duty console, these are... Yeah, the Black Ops console. Yeah, it, it's, yeah. it's nice. And then uh, the Wii U, though, they've got, they're bundling Smash Brothers and Splatoon with their console for Black Friday. Awesome. That'll sell. Yeah. yeah. That will sell like mad. Uh, they're probably going to put Star Fox and Zelda in there, too. All Star four. Fox and Zelda aren't coming out this year. <laughs> Stop bringing it up, Will. All four games in one one box. Uh, oh God, it would cost just as much to buy the games as it would just the console. Yeah, so mm -hmm. is it the same price or is it? Uh, I haven't seen a price on it yet. Okay. I would guess that it's probably the same price or a little bit more than just the console. Yeah. All the other bundles are one game for the same price as the console. Sure. Three fifty. Yeah. Three fifty, you said? For the Xbox and PS4. Oh, oh, right, right, right. So yeah, so yeah. I mean, if they come in at a three hundred price point, it's basically two free games. Oh yeah. And they're top. They're top, top selling games, two yeah. games right now. Yeah, so that's that's pretty awesome. So I mean, I know Black Friday sales are gonna be good. I mean, but you know, having those extra bundles are cool for some people, especially if you want to get that particular game. Yeah. There's a Fallout bundle for Xbox, uh, Tomb Raider, I think. Yeah. There, actually, there's a promotion. They're giving away a Fallout Pip Box One. It's oh all man! Custom you... <laughs> look like it's all wasteland, no. rusted looking, and all right. Awesome. Well, when we get back, we're gonna talk about uh, some Blizzard news, some WoW, and all kinds of cool stuff. Right after this. Hey everybody, welcome back. We just got something talking about some holiday bundles and Fallout 4 and all that kind of stuff. We did mention uh, Overwatch in there, so let's talk a little bit more about that right now from Blizzard. Um, again, my name's Will, this is Nine, yep. this is Joey. So, uh, Blizzard uh, right now is avoiding questions about Overwatch, their add-on characters right now. They have a good selection of characters already, that was kind of one of the intriguing parts about the game, yeah. was the, the creativity in the characters and all that kind of thing. Why are they suddenly just dodging what they're going to be doing? They, they did a panel at BlizzCon, and somebody asked, well, what's the method going forward if you're doing free-to-play? Are you going to charge for new characters like League of Legends does? Right. They charge if you want to buy a character and keep it eternally. Otherwise, you just play the rotation. They completely just dodged the question and threw it under the bus and was just like, all right, moving on, next question. <laughs> they, I don't think they figured it out yet. Okay. So that, that's my opinion. Um, I, I, I don't know. Or they are going to. Or it's possible that they are going to charge two, three bucks a character if you want to keep it. Right. Is, this a, so. is it a business decision? Is it they're trying to keep people in the dark, people guessing, keep I the intrigue going? I Possibly. Think trying to yeah. figure out a way to profit from Overwatch since yeah. it's a free to play title on PC, which is going to be their biggest market. Mm -hmm. So So if you have a free to play game, then you, would you spend money on the characters? I mean I guess people playing League of Legends look People said, spend a lot. Sure, if you enjoy the game, you're gonna spend you're gonna spend money on it. So that they, they suck you in. Yeah, they oh, get, yeah. They get you it's in like a free sample at Costco. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get the little bacon bit, and then yeah. you're like, okay, "Man, those are really good." Yeah, like, I'll, good buy a whole thing I'll buy a little bit of this now. <laughs> Do you play any of those games online at all? No, you know, I, I wish I had the time for it. I'm, sure. You know, researching. Uh, you know what I call research, but I don't get the chance to play online like I uh, like I should. It's more reading journals and things like that, more theoretical, conceptual things, and right. the actual down and dirty getting to play the fun stuff. Even though people think that's all I do is play video games, right. don't get the chance as much as I would like to. But it's all the people think we do, and we're yeah. sitting here doing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I, I don't. I think it's interesting that they're avoiding the questions. I, I don't see any reason I just don't why they, they would. Figured it out, yeah. I, it's probably and which is and why they're, they're just yeah. avoiding. Buying time, it, you know, just buy some time, work around it. So sticking with with Blizzard, um, apparently they are no longer going to be reporting the numbers, the subscriber count for World of Warcraft. What's up with that? <laughs> Again, I think it's. We were talking about this off camera. I think they're moving towards focusing on other projects. Overwatch is coming out next sure. year. They've got the Warcraft movie coming out right. next mm -hmm. year. I mean, I think they just want to stop focusing so much on Warcraft. No, I'm not going to see that. <laughs> I have no desire to see anything Warcraft. I mean, it looks cool. Yeah. But I, 
I don't know enough about it to follow it. Yeah. So I mean, I don't even know if it's about the game in right. general. Okay. I'm sure it has connections, but I think they just want to focus on moving forward rather than reliving the past 10 years or 11 years yeah. now that the game's Time for been new out. projects. So that's my theory. By the way, you're watching, listening to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is Nye. This is Joey. Yep. Uh, we're talking about uh, Blizzard and World of Warcraft no, no longer going to support their <laughs> subscriber count. So, from the last thing that I heard, it was it was down though, right? The the people that have actually Very paid subscriptions yeah. are way down. Uh, I think right now, currently hanging around the five five and a half million. Last reported numbers were five point five. Yeah, which is still good, but compared to what it used to be. Compared to the yeah. 17, 18 million <laughs> they had on a regular basis in the first couple of years, yeah, that's pretty low. Yeah. But you, but you, we're, we're at the the low end. I mean, we're getting ready to have another release, right? So Legion. Legion, I think, is on the verge of release. Yeah. If it's not already out. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I, I, I think they'll they'll go back up, but no one's really going to know where they're going to be It'll at. It'll spike. People will play it for a couple weeks and, and then go back down. just go back down again. So I think that's and why they're And then they'll forget about them. their subscriptions and continue to pay them. Yeah. <laughs> but we won't yeah. know about it because they're not going to report it. That's right. Yeah, so exactly. <laughs> we can just guess. So, I mean, I, I, I think that League of Legends can get, get away with, you know, Charging, you know, people like that. World of Warcraft. I mean, oh. that is a paid subscription. Mm -hmm. Do you have other? Uh, don't they have other microtransactions in there at all? Or for what? For World of Warcraft. And WoW. Yeah. I don't. I, I, they do now. I think. I think you can buy like. I think you can use real money to purchase stuff in the game versus mm -hmm. the gold in the game because a lot of people don't have time to grind all the gold. Is, is that still a huge thing where people sell their characters? Yes. Yeah. Especially in Korea. Really no. Oh, that's a big deal. Korea is the number one like source for all of that. They will grind it. out a character and then sell it on the market. What kind of prices are we looking at? Um, depends on what you want. Yeah. If you want a top tier character with top tier gear, you're gonna pay a couple hundred dollars <sighs> for an account. I've, I've heard you know four or five hundred dollars. When I was playing Final Fantasy XI <laughs> ages ago, because nobody plays eleven anymore. Um, Some of you know what we're talking about there, by the way. <laughs> uh, the character that I was making, I wasn't going to sell it, but the character I was working for, uh, they were selling accounts in the six to twelve hundred dollar range for one character. It's crazy. That's absurd. And so the buyer gets to use that character. Yeah. For they get, as long as I they. I mean, they granted they get your account information too. Sure. Yeah, you know, that's a risk you're willing to take. Yeah. This is what you're doing for a living. Yeah. That's nuts. I just would not. If I'm going to do something, I would rather just do it myself instead of just. Yeah. Yeah. Make it. Yeah. You can kind of be proud of it. I mean, what's where's the glory and pain for your? Maybe you want to jump into character. like raids, or maybe you want to jump into a situation to where you yeah. don't have to spend the time. It's a shortcut. Some yeah. people who got out of it and want to get back into it because their friends are getting back into it, but they didn't keep their subscription up to date, so their account's gone. They buy these accounts to go it's in quick and catch me up. Exactly. Yeah. And they still know how to play the game. They sure. just need a refresher course yeah. with all the new skills and abilities. Yeah, but if, if then, the, then the cost of that game goes way up. You know? yeah. It's expensive <laughs> it's enough. Just, think about how much money I've spent on Dark Souls. Yeah, but <laughs> $600, you could buy. I probably spent How many games could you buy? $400 on Dark Souls. For, for what? I bought Demon Souls. Okay. I bought the Collector's Editions Those of Dark Souls. Those are all different Souls. games, though. But it's still the same franchise. Doesn't matter. That's like saying Call of Duty or Mario. People have spent thousands of dollars on those. Sure. Well, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, here with Mario and you go back games. to the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> Over the past <laughs> 25 years, of course, I spent I don't know how, many, how much money on Mario. Yeah, I mean, and they're different games. I mean, this is yeah. still, I guess, an expanded you know, version of the game or whatever it is. But anyway, um, I don't know. I, I just see, obviously, Blizzard's having no issues. They got, they got Overwatch coming out, doing great. I'm sure World of Warcraft will go back up. And when we get back, we're talking more about Fallout 4 and some Konami information for you right after this. Hey, welcome back everybody. We just got done talking about World of Warcraft, no longer supporting subscriber counts, and uh, Overwatch, um, all that good stuff. So now we're gonna talk about uh, Fallout 4 and how that is going currently and how they began production. So let's get into that. Again, my name is Will. This is Mr. Nine. Yep. This is Mr. Joey. So apparently Fallout 4 began production um, by porting Skyrim over to Xbox One. So, Nine, you, uh, enlighten us. <laughs> it makes me wonder if they were originally planning on only putting Fallout on the Xbox One. Because, you know... Well, they did. They are... They have the extra console, so there was something more there. I don't know. 
I think Microsoft was trying to buy a partnership deal, and Sony was like, no, 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 we want this too. Like, we'll work out a deal. Yeah, there's no mm -hmm. way that yeah. that but title is just going to show up on one console. It's just interesting that they decided no. to port Skyrim to the Xbox One, but didn't tell anybody. And like, yeah, we're going to do this, but we're going to use it to build Fallout 4. So that somewhere out there, there's a playable version of Skyrim on the Xbox One. And I'm sure <laughs> a lot of people would kill to have that. That's crazy. Black market stuff. Man. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so why no Skyrim on Xbox One? Who knows? Bethesda. Yeah, the big that's, question, that's right? Why. I mean, I think they'll put one out. I mean, they have an Elder Scrolls game. Um, well, Elder Scrolls will be next on their docket because Fallout's coming out. So is that how it goes? Yeah, they did Fallout, Elder Scrolls, Elder Scrolls, Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Skyrim. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I mean, Skyrim is a, technically next in their playlist is Doom. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. but they but got ID software. Skyrim is software Elder Scrolls, though, right? Yes. Skyrim yeah. is Elder, yes. that's Elder Scrolls. Yeah. yeah, but they just had ESO last year, so. I mean, Skyrim was just a part in the Elder Scrolls series, so maybe they'll just have another Elder Scrolls game titled, whatever. Yeah, Valen Wood. Huh? Valen Wood title that and then <laughs> and you know it's gonna be a massive game but yeah I think I'm sure it'd be foolish to think they're not working on another Elder they Scrolls they have to be I mean it's yeah. too big of a money maker too yeah. popular of a series I mean that they're they showed up at E3 this year and they basically showed off Doom mm -hmm. they showed off some Elder Scrolls stuff they did yeah, the expansion pack for ESO, for the ESO. yeah they did uh, Fallout 4 and what was Dishonored it? Dishonored 2. Dishonored 2. Yes. That, was, that was their... Unveiled a lot. That was pr their press briefing. And when we say it like that, it doesn't seem like much, but it definitely is because they're massive games. Yeah. Like they're just huge, huge titles. I think once the Fallout 4 team is free with all their patches and DLC, I think that's when we'll start seeing news about the next Elder Scrolls game. Yeah. That's not an MMO. Right. So, the MMO is doing a lot better now that it's free to play. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I don't see people. You, you were saying just a second ago before we started this, though, that you think that Skyrim will, or, or Elder Scrolls would sell a lot more copies than Fallout 4. Oh yeah, I don't think so. No, Skyrim's no. a bigger no. game, <laughs> bigger in scale, in what you can do. And it's how old now? Six years see, old. People have played the game for six years. I don't think they're gonna. And people are still finding secrets in this game. They are. That's but why. I don't see it knocking Fallout so far. I do. Why? I really would because so many people <laughs> want this game on next generation consoles or current generation consoles if you want to get technical. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're two years rounding, coming up on no, starting year three. Mm -hmm. So. Well, again, you're watching Listen to Press Start TV. We're talking about Skyrim, Fallout 4, and right now we're going to go into some Konami stuff. Again, my name's Will, Nine, and Joey. Yep. Um, <clears> Konami <throat> closes Kojima Productions in LA. Yeah. What's so, the big implication here? So. Have you been up with what Konami is <laughs> so, so Konami right is in, in, in just there's a disarray. Lot going on yeah. Apparently, Kojima, who makes uh, Metal Gear, mm -hmm. um, I'm Silent sure a lot Hills. of you are enjoying Metal Gear, Phantom Silent Pain, Hill. Silent Hills, yeah. I mean, uh, some, some pretty well known games. Um, hopefully, Metal Gear's done and out, and it's amazing and all that good stuff. Oh, but yeah, Metal Gear's fantastic. Shortly, shortly somewhere between before the release of the game, Kojima. Um, I, I guess they just had a huge falling out uh, with Konami, and they have parted ways. No one truly knows what happens. At least there's no well, actual. F this started in <laughs> April of this year, and Konami reported that Kojima was no longer with the company, and nobody knew why. Nobody knew anything about what had happened. And then you know the release of the game came out, and they took his name off the box art. Hmm. But they had a huge like farewell party for Kojima and it, the reports were saying that this is his like goodbye party like he's not coming back to the company but then Konami was coming out and saying no this is just his vacation party who throws a party for somebody going on vacation I don't know but I need to work there yes yeah, right, right? <laughs> I need exactly. to find where they are <laughs> I mean they had like champagne and glasses and like big feast buffet <laughs> kind of thing going on just it didn't look like a hey come back in three months kind of thing and then so so there was that and then uh there was another demo for pt which was Ugh, don't remind a, me. a segue mm -hmm. into silent hills right one of the most successful demos of all time i think right and um delme Gor guillermo del toro del toro uh and and kojima partnered on this game they were making the game hugely well received all of a sudden that Canceled. got shut down hmm. So and that's canceled. Del Toro even was like, 
He's mad. He's pissed. Yeah. He was very, very upset. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just, just. Words so, we can't use here. So now he, they have closed um, the Kojima the, Productions. Kojima Productions altogether. They're in, not in using LA. Fox Engine for anything else anymore. It's ridiculous. So, it is because the Fox Engine is awesome. What? What? What are they doing? I don't even it's think they It's just complete yeah. madness. Madness. I, it just makes sense. Yeah, it, ma it makes me believe that they really are moving towards a mobile phone market. Oh, no. <laughs> because they announced oh, no. that earlier this year, too, that they would be moving into a mobile phone market, not focusing on their AAA titles. Then they went and flip-flopped that. <laughs> They for don't the, know what's for those of you watching listening, you can get behind me on this. I think we should start a Kickstarter campaign for PT. I will back that in a heartbeat. <laughs> I'm going to launch it. I'll never it play it because I scared and, myself to death yeah. playing that Don't game. take my idea. I, I'm going to do it anyway and, and see what happens. And, and <laughs> dude, we got to do it. There's already a lot of fan made like games that are in that same kind of sense that are doing really well. And this was just a demo. Allison Rose. Right. Just a demo. Right. Check out that game. All right, well, that's all the time we have for you today. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, again, you can check out all of our content on PressStartTV.com. Uh, you can check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash PSVGTV. And again, you can check us out on Twitch, where we'll be playing some awesome games. Twitch.tv slash Press underscore Start <laughs> underscore TV. So check us out on all that for all of our content. Thank you again so much for joining us. Until next time, we'll see you. Bye.